Hello everybody and welcome back to Soma. Um, we are just about to get out of the Theta Station, I believe. Um, we went into the crazy room with the crazy blind zombie thing that was chasing us around. We turned back on all the computers. We tricked an uploaded brain scan into believing that he was still alive with his wife. And we stole the security cipher from him for Catherine, um, with, which was pretty questionable in terms of morality. And um, we turned on the dumb bat. I think that's it up there. Um, we need to figure out some way to get into the dumb bat, which has been kind of hard to do because... So like, there seems to be like this thing here, right? But the button doesn't do anything. The knobs can't turn them. There are like these machines over here, but there's nothing to click on them. Nothing to interact with. And the only other thing in this room is this staircase, um, which I thought, oh, okay. Maybe we can climb up this staircase to like this hatch up here, but um, we weren't able to get any access in there. So maybe I need to go back up to the other room and see if there's something some switch I need to turn on or something. Just when I thought I was going to get out of this godforsaken place. It's always something new. Okay, switch. Done bat. Activate the done bat. Can we put Catherine back in? No. What does the computer say? Maybe we're missing something. No, this is just a list of staff. Site status. All systems are operational. Okay. <coughs> map. This map means nothing to me. Okay. I need to remember that I can throw things. So for like creatures like the one downstairs that are operated like solely based on sound, it might be really useful. To be able to like pick something up and throw it somewhere else to divert its attention. Um, Catherine locked those two doors, so we can't go back downstairs and explore all that other stuff. So it's something in here. Let's just take a very careful look. If there's like anything in this room that can help us. Caution, floor is slippery when wet. Okay, have I tried each and every single one of the knobs? Okay, now I have. Um, okay, I can pick this thing up. Maybe it goes in um, that where that orange thing is? Guys, I'm a genius. I am a genius. Look at this. The power button's on now. Wow. Um, I could easily see having missed that though. Like, I could have ran around this room like 10 more times and completely missed that. Okay. What does this knob do? Systems active. running its tests. I need to get healed. All systems are okay. Preparing to release. It's ready for release. What? Why does everyone hate Catherine so much? What did she do? And why is the dumb bat alive? I thought it was a vehicle. Catherine. It's always something with you, Catherine. Can we plug it in again? No. So, 
That was our only chance to get out of here. What are we supposed to do now? Can I get in here? It looks yellow now. It's kind of hard to tell because of my double vision because I'm all injured. Everything is like red and green, but... What is happening? The dumb bat has a persona. It has a mind in it. A potentially uploaded mind, and that mind hates Catherine. <sighs> Everyone seems to hate Catherine. Plan B, failed at acquiring the dumb bat. Just got a steam achievement for failing. I think it was a scripted failure though. Ugh, oh, more of the zombie things. I hear it. They squeal. I don't really know where we're going. Seems like we're walking in a circle. I need to heal up. And I need to have a serious chat with Catherine again. I wish there was more dialogue options in this game. Such as... Catherine, why is there a robot outside that believes she's in the Ark? Catherine, why do all these people hate you? Catherine, why are you the only normal robot in this whole godforsaken planet? Okay. I see healing. I don't hear the screaming anymore. I think we're safe. Let's heal up. We do away with our pesky double vision. All right, that's much better. Is there a light switch in this room? Wow, uh-oh, don't touch that. It's involved with the row, with the wow. Okay, we've got some kind of nuclear reactor powering the facility. We can plug more things in if we need to. We learned that trick last time. All right, looks like there's some kind of thing here. Maybe that's the Ark? I don't exactly know. Okay, what are we doing here? We can plug Catherine in. We're going to plug Catherine in in just a second. I just want to explore the room first, make sure I I understand everything fully before we move forwards. Okay, everything is offline. Catherine's probably gonna tell us that we need to turn this facility back online. Yeah. Yep, okay. So Catherine, we're gonna plug you in unless I can figure out where this plugs into. As far as I can tell, I don't see any like open sockets or anything, so. Okay, good to know there's like some codes here. Prep arc with signal transmitter. Power packs, Todd's, extra oxygen. Okay, shuttle to Omicron. Okay. Hey look, it's Catherine. Hiamatsu power suit. All right. Catherine? Hi. Excuse me, explain Wait, yourself. Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we. Don't blame this one on Wow. She was angry was at you. Talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay, sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. 
That does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? Catherine. There's a picture of you on here. How do you not know? Something's really off about Catherine. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Start an arc simulation. Beep, boop, pop. Can't press any of these buttons. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the arc. Give it a try. It says it's radioactive. Of course, that's no hazard for a robot. Radioactivity doesn't do anything against robots. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yes. Ooh, exciting. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. A <laughs> diving suit and an extra suit from Omicron. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard Cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kat, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the line. Oh. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Hold on. We have a biological body? I thought we looked at ourselves in the mirror and we had like robot eyes. But Catherine's telling us we're like basically somebody else's mind put into this other chick's body. We're Simon's mind put into her friend's and colleague's body. I don't know. Maybe we're some kind of like cyborg? Some like cyborg mix of the two? Okay, let's swipe our Omni tool. I need to get the Omni tool. Get an arc simulation going. Get an arc simulation going. What does this mean? Do I need to plug this in? That did something. Alright, mem check. System memory error detected. Approximately 43.75% memory corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. Whoa. Memory corruption detected. Please reduce memory footprint. Okay. We need sim base required type soma. And we need sysgen veg advanced. Ok, 
Okay. Not gonna lie, a little bit confused. But there's that word Soma we're seeing for the first time in this game. What is Soma? The art doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. Your people? As in old people? From before the end of the world? Where are we supposed to plug this stuff into? Seriously, like... There's where we came from. What's on here? Documents. My decision. I have decided to finalize the arc with scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anybody. I just wanted to save something. What's left? Apply interface module, seal arc capsule, ask permission from 4Q, brief Ivashin, Iv Ivashkin, Lindwall, Peterson, and Hill, take shuttle to Omicron, pick up power suits, ride climber into the abyss, regroup at Tau, head to launch site, Load the bullet, launch the arc. Wow, that's a big what's left for us. Arc locator. It's at Tau. I feel like this game is like going to one system and then not finding what we needed. And then going to another system and not finding what we needed. <laughs> so now we need to go to Omicron to get on this elevator. Okay. Arc attitude survey. No, I don't want to do this. Okay, so we need to take the shuttle to Omicron. We need to get the power suits. We need to enter the abyss. We need to go to Tau. We need to get the arc there. Then we need to head to the launch site, load the bullet, launch the arc. Okay, we can do that. Um, that doesn't help us with... Get an arc simulation going. Yeah, stop telling me to do that. Okay. So we need type Soma. Then we need green vegetation advanced. Then we need atmosphere. Then we need system interface scan. Then we need type light SRC. We can have moon or sun. Sun sounds better. Then we need water. Okay. Probably physics fluid, right? Oh, environment mod lake. Okay, then I need rigid and soft physics. I need boy physics. I need heat. And I need dim light. But now we have too much. At uh, which point did we go wrong? Well, let's start over. We need Soma. Package Soma Human Required System WMOD ATMO. Okay. We need system interface scan. These are absolute necessaries. We need type light SRC. We need type water. 
So we could do a lake or we could do a river. And I think we just tried the lake. Okay, so let's let's handle the mo the the light first. So we tried sun at noon. And that required two files. Dim light and heat. For a total of a little above 100 terabytes. But if we did moon, then we just need dim light and we don't need the heat. Alright, we're saving some memory there. Um, we need physics for fluid and we need some type of water. So if we do lake, that's going to require rigid and soft physics. If we do river, then we're just going to need... Rigid and void physics. Okay, so river is going to be more space efficient. So we need rigid and we need boy. Now we need vegetation. And there we go. shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. We're starting at an arc simulation. Okay, what's going on? What's the point of this? Can we talk to you now? Load a dummy and pause the simulation while it's active. Then we can run diagnostics and see how it operates. Pause the simulation. Need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Mm. So we slow this down so when it gets to dummy... Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. Yeah, I got that, okay? It's just... You need to catch it while it's Stop being loaded. Stop it, Catherine. Run diagnostics. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> Good one, Simon. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Kind of do want to forget to take you with me. I mean, the only reason I'm keeping you around is because you seem to know a lot of information. And you're helping us figure out problems. But I'm serious. You're highly suspicious. That dumb bat freaked out about Catherine. She didn't say, oh my gosh, the wow got me. She said, Catherine, you did this to me. Okay, I have a feeling we're about to be not so safe anymore. We can go this way, we can go this way. Let's just see what's around here, what our available options are. Okay, system error, we can't go in there. See what's around here. Dead guy. Okay. Theta Laboratory. Okay. Omega Management, Peterson. Okay, we can't get in there. 
We can get in the storage room. What's with these humans that are all like barely alive? Like, what does it take to be hanging on by a thread at just the right time? Did we come just too late? Okay, we came from there. So let's walk this way. Maybe we follow the blood trail? As much as I don't really want to follow the blood trail. It's heading over to this door. I don't necessarily want to head over to this door. Okay. Okay, we're in. Facing. Okay, nothing in here, though there is a little memory terminal. Sarah, how the hell are we gonna make sure the Ark makes it? Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. It's the only thing that's gonna remain of humanity. Just a pack of data. Okay, here we are again. Somebody really wanted to close off these stairs. Let's see what this says. Stormer, Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pulled the connector chip from the lock. Right. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. You tell Alice I love her. Wow. So they went downstairs here and he locked the way so we can't follow them down the stairs. Gee, thanks, Juan. Didn't think about us coming later, did you? Security error, insert connector chip. Looks like a part is missing. Okay. Stormer. We already watched that. So I need to get a chip to take the elevator down because they took the stairs down. Okay. And I have a feeling that's just going to require moving this way. Hmm. This looks like a dead end, but I just want to verify that it is a dead end so we never have to come here again. Of course, no guarantees because my sense of direction is terrible and this place is a verifiable maze. Okay, we could potentially go that way and we could potentially go this way. Okay. We can heal over there. Good to know. Before we go over that way, let's continue exploring around this part of the research lab for now. Playing hangman. They must have gotten really bored. Tic-tac-toe. Wow, these guys were real hard workers. Conference room. Wow. Um, what are we looking at? Jesus Christ. Is 
Is that us? It looks like there's a chip into the skull. Oh, I don't want to look at that anymore. Okay. Lovely. I hear it. Where is it? There it is. It can open rooms? I don't like that. I like that there's one way in and one way out, so I can't get cornered in this room. I can feel the corruption in my robotic system. What is this stuff? Remarkable connectivity, meet downstairs, gel consumption. Where is it? Okay. Oh my gosh. Disgusting. Jesus Christ. Why are all these people barely alive? Terry Akers. One of the worst cases I've seen and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structure gel. I'm surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that WoW is somehow able to change and rebuild the... Hmm. Heart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bruises and mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story as she is the only one to return. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Strawmeyer demands another evaluation. Chan isn't obstinate or dishonest, but she's rather not speak of if it's avoided. Um, she has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chan is weak in character and the perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She is a scared mouse I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. <coughs> Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to pulp with a WREM following the ARC neuroscan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing himself and taking a place on the arc. Okay, so in top, on top of comet collision, destroying the earth, moving everyone underwater, and a corrupted WoW system taking over the planet, there seems to be some kind of like virus? or something that's been going around and infecting people and killing all these people, okay? Um, maybe we can get in through the window. We just need something to let's smash the window with. We'll take note of that. Um, let's go over back here because there was another way we could explore if I just remember how to get there. Okay, no running. My impatience was getting <laughs> getting the better of me. There is a monster on the loose. But if we sneak around, we should be fine. This one isn't as scary as the other. Where is it? Let's 
Go into John Meyer's laboratory. Let's override the door lock. System malfunction. Lock limits act inactive. Remaining resources 0%. So we can lock rooms. I don't know why we would want to lock rooms unless we can lock that thing into one of the rooms. Stromer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll move back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. But he did die. He locked the way behind him. Because he just had to be a hero. So there it is. It. Can't see me. Now I am well and truly lost. I wanted to go in here. and see where this pathway leads. Oh, it leads not, nowhere after all. So we have to somehow figure out something to do in this area we're already in. Hmm. Um. Let's go ahead and let's end the episode here. I think we're making progress. It's kind of a maze, but slowly but surely, we're kind of opening up rooms and learning more and figuring out what to do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and please stay tuned for the next episode.